to Echo One Hotel Juliet Whiskey. Right, so just a little bit of an update video. Thanks for tuning back onto the channel. Uh, currently uh, on 20 meters. Um, as you just see, just got straight into Slovenia on uh, on 50 watts with my brand new uh, 20 meter dipole, homemade. If you haven't seen the video, check it out in the playlist, antennas. Um, yeah, so this is a little bit of a talk about the IC 7300 icon um i've done the unboxing video and i said i would do one and i've just not had enough uh, time but um so this is a little uh run over of my impressions now i've had it for a month or so um first absolutely amazing absolutely amazing fantastic bit of kit so glad that i purchased one um, it's changed my life when it's come to radio having the waterfall the audio clarity on receive um, the audio reports that I get from using the transceiver is unbelievable every single person comments on the audio um, apart from tweaking some of the settings it's the standard mic out of the box um, really good piece of kit and I would strongly recommend it to anyone that's thinking about um, a HF antenna, a HF transceiver with um, with a full scope and that on it. Um, I haven't really got a bad thing to say about it. It took a little bit of getting used to. It's a lot different to what I was used to, but um, the tuner seems a little bit tighter uh, than the 450D. Um, I could tune my 80 meter dipole all the way through the band on the 450, where this won't play ball. Um, but I do know that the antenna's out of tune anyway, so at the moment I can get a tune on about 750, 3.750 on 80 meters. Um, apart from that, realistically, there is not one thing that I can criticize so far on this radio. Um, I've managed to get the uh, spectrum scope display on my M1NN logger software. Um, which is really good. You can check that out on the live streaming uh, video that I've done. My latest one that's got um, that's got the live spectrum on the on the uh, on the stream. Um, just re it's just a really nice radio to use. I'm looking at upgrading the mic to a studio mic. I don't believe there's any reason to, um, but I'm using it for making quite a bit of content at the moment. So. Um, that's definitely going to be a thing that I'm going to uh, introduce in a not so distant future. Um, but yeah, I use a dipole on this and uh, on this transceiver now. I use an 80 meter dipole, a 40 meter dipole, and a 20 meter dipole. Um, no multi band antennas, and yeah, it's the noise has gone down. Um, especially to what I was experiencing on the 450, but at the time I had an off-center fed dipole. Now, I never got round to doing another um, noise video um, on the 450, but I will do another video about noise on, on this 7300, so keep your uh, eyes peeled for that one. But um, there's really not much I can say. It's, um, it's very intu intuitive. Um, everything's where you need it to be um, I've spoken to many people and apparently there's a massive um, a lot to be gained out of having the 1.4 firmware um, I was lucky enough this come with the 1.4 firmware out of the box um, I've definitely not learned everything that the radio has to offer um, it works immaculately with uh, M1NM logger. Um, I've not yet done or taken seriously any contests with it. I've dabbled. Um, when the next contest comes up, I'll be doing a video on that using the IC7300. Um, for the price as well, like £1,100 for the price, I just. It's a lot of kit for not much money. So if you are considering buying one, 
you're watching this video because you're looking at the IC7300 and you've probably looked at loads of reviews but I thought I'd do a little quick my own opinion review um, it is so customizable there's so much to do with the waterfall with the audio settings um, it's just an all all round it's 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 just on point I can't fault it. The receives better than my 450D, which is to be expected because the ASU 450Ds are a little bit older now, but cracking radios. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to taking it out in the field with me when I get my um, portable setup done and uh, carry on making some good contacts. Um, I use this for all my live streaming videos. I'm going to do a few more in the future. And if anyone wants to know anything specific, please let me know in the con comments down the bottom, and I will um, I will try my hardest to make a video and um, let you guys know. But uh, for now, seventy three, and um, I'll catch you a bit later on. And uh, thanks for watching. And if you haven't, please like and subscribe.